my niece Ria was a little bored so I told her that I was going to make a YouTube video for her um, something that she might find interesting as well as creative um, so today on this video I'm going to show you a few features of PixArt um, first you, what you have to do is go to your app store and then download the PixArt photo video editor uh, you'll see the sign P in there since I'd already downloaded before um, it's showing me the cloud sign but click on that the good thing about PixArt is um, that there's a free version as well as there's a paid version um, I'm just going to show you guys some of the features of the free version um, there's actually a lot that that you could do on that one all right so the PixArt is now downloaded um, I can you have to sign up uh, you can sign up either with your email or you can just sign up with your Facebook account um, I did it with my Facebook account if it's just easier uh, now you'll see at the bottom that there is a plus sign uh, which is a little bit in purplish so click on that and once you are done you can select the picture that you would like to edit and so I'm going to select a picture of my niece very beautiful um, so there are various effects you can use there is beautify um, if you know some of you want to to do that um, but she's picture perfect so I don't really have to do anything and my sister Rick did a really really good job um, getting a nice shot of her so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on effects and then I'm going to go blur so that I can just focus on her face uh, I'm going to select facial zoom and then you can see that target so move your target to her face and then click apply don't forget to do that okay so here's what we want um, and then go back to effects and then uh, click on if you just click on FX there's SDR so this actually helps give the prominent features of her which I which I really like um, and then click on apply again which is on the right top corner and then go back to effects um, and then you'll see there's canvas sketch blur artistic magic so there's a lot of uh, filter that you could use so I'm going to use the magic um, and then here you can see that there's there's a lot more features in here so you can just be creative and choose the one that you really like for the purpose of this I'm going to just use flora um, and so you can see that how it changes automatically right to a very nice features and if you click on flora for a few seconds keep on clicking on it you will see additional editing features so you could fade it to not make it look as much cartoony um, this is normal multiply color burn darken so as you click on this you'll see those filters is going to change for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use normal I like that one okay and then once I have that um, I'm going to go back and then I'm going to apply make sure to apply otherwise it's not going to be saved and then I'm going to add a text and then I would say come visit my wonder world all right we have that in here and then click on on the top right you see a tick mark check on that move where you want to be and then there's a lot of font um, so let's check to see which one I want um, okay so maybe I can just use this come visit my wonder world let me see if there's anything else that I like I mean you can play around with it I mean everybody has a different taste um, so then I will use this one and so you'll see that because it's white it's kind of blend with the background so what I like doing is I like to add stroke uh, which basically provides an outline and then just make it darker um, okay, you go back here and then you can add shadow if you like and you click on that and then just do okay I think that should work and just click on yes and it says come visit my wonder roll you can make it bigger smaller and then G 
to apply. I to use the lens flare too. So you'll see at the bottom, there's this lens flare right here. Click on it um, and then see what I like. So just select the ones and then you'll see a circle. You can rotate it the way you want. And so just drag it down and then you can rotate it too if you want. I'm just gonna, going to put it right up here. All right, and then just to apply after that, okay? And then if you want to add a sticker, you could do that too. Um, so here you'll see next to beauty, there's a sticker. There's a lot of free stickers too. And then there's, you can see there's a hashtag pink, hashtag galaxy, and a hashtag stay home. Let's just select that for now. And if you see a crown next to any of these pictures, then, then you'll have to pay for it. But then there's a lot in here that you really don't have to to pay anything. So um, let's just select any one of this here. Let's just say Saturday, stay home, save a life. And then just put whatever you want. Well, she's asking you to come visit her virtual world. <laughs> um, so all right, so let's just put here Saturday, stay home, save a life, um, and then apply. I like it up here um, and you can change you know whatever you want in there um, and you can make it the oh, this one faded or darker that's the feature that I like and you can do it in all the stickers um, so that so you could do that as well and then apply and I'm going to add a border because I like it that way um, so you can see I'm going to increase the inner border and then I'm going to change the radius just to make it like this and then do apply. And so this is a picture before and there's a picture after. Um, and so this is, this is one of the cool tools I, I thought I just uh, came across um, yesterday and, and wanted to tell my niece that she could do it to be creative and not get bored at home. Um, okay, so this one is, is pretty good. And then you do next um, and then just save photo and then your photo is, is saved. And just do that. Another feature that's very quick and you don't have to be as much creative. You can actually just copy the features that's already there. So if you see here in the home page, there are some that is remix. There are some that's try. Uh, remix is basically the background that you can use uh, for your pictures and I'll show you really quick later but let me just do the one for try and show you how quick and easy it is so if you click on try um, select the picture I'm going to select a picture of my nephew beautiful um, and then all you have to do after that is you'll see that at the bottom you'll see skip back apply all you need to do is click on next click on next again that's just it'll just do it on your own and then if you want to adjust it a little bit just go ahead and move it I don't like the glitches up here. I'm gonna move it down here. Move this a little bit up there. There you go. And then, let's see, kind of like this really cool. And then just do next. And voila, you're done. You just created a beautiful picture. And then you just do next. And then you save your photo. Uh, last trick on uh, PixArt. So this is the uh, picture I got from Remix uh, from the home page. And what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to add a picture of my munchkins, my twins, my sister's twins. Um, and so I'm just going to add it here. And then what you can do is you can have uh, cutout features um, and then you select person. And so once you do that, you can click on preview. Now you can erase if you want, your restore helps you add more. Um, but generally it does a good job um, just selecting the people. And then you do save. Okay. And now I'm going to put these guys up here. There you go. And then I'm going to apply. Okay. And then I'm going to add a sticker because I want a balloons there. So type in balloons. Okay, let's see if there's a good one. Maybe I just use the blue one right here. There you go. 
go. Yeah, it looks good. <clears throat> and then apply. Let me just make it a little bit lighter to match with everything. Okay, that's good. And then add here a text and say, let's fly high. And then do yes. And like I mentioned before, you can always go and um, change the font. There's a lot of them. I still like to add a stroke, just making it prominent. There you go. And here, allow your pictures done and you can then add um, the border you know whatever you feel like doing I'm just gonna add this radius apply and there is your magical picture right there um, so hopefully you guys like it and especially my niece now she has something more to do um, but if I will probably be posting more videos like this if you like it let me know and if you create any of your pictures post those in the comments and let me see what you did. All right. Talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.